Roger Daltrey, Lionel Richie, Steven Tyler, and Joe Buck all have the same doctor to thank for their golden voices. Let's see why they came out to a star-studded event at the Beverly Hills Hotel in honor of the Voice Health Institute. For music megastars like Aerosmith's Steven Tyler, singing isn't just a job, it's a way of life. The voice is, has got me everything I've ever wanted. It's my livelihood, it uh, helps me front the band. So when that voice is threatened by disease or damage to the vocal cords, I broke a blood vessel. The wounds will likely go much deeper. I was just super bummed out and was spending so much time completely silent. I didn't know what was wrong and I didn't know how I could fix it. You try not talking for two weeks. It's really, really difficult. Just give me. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's still catching. It still feels tight. It can happen with scar tissue. The heartbreaking and potentially life-changing reality that has affected so many of music's biggest names was also a big storyline on season two of ABC's Nashville. Healing is halted by anxiety. It's why you're feeling tense and tight. Feel the resonance in your mask. Give me mm -mm, one. Mm-mm, one. Mm-mm, two. Mm-mm, two. Keep going to nine. Mm-mm, three. Mm-mm, four. I Help love working boys. with these actors. They've been fantastic. Vocal coach for ABC's Nashville, Valerie Morehouse, says protecting the vocal cords starts with proper technique. We started working with Connie Britton and kind of started with her teaching her how to sing and really use the voice that she naturally had. But the demands on today's singers go beyond the stage. Besides singing, you're constantly on the phone, you're constantly doing interviews, so your voice really doesn't get a rest. And as a result, more and more of them are experiencing serious problems. That's where the Voice Health Institute comes in. The nonprofit funds research for advances in the treatment of voice and upper airway problems by physicians like Dr. Steven Zaitels. He's just coming up with new inventions and fast tracking ear, nose, and throat, and really having all the other doctors in the world sort of follow in his lead and fixing things that we couldn't fix 10 years ago. Zaitels was honored for his work during the VHI's inaugural Raise Your Voice benefit at the Beverly Hills Hotel. A benefit he hopes will give many more people a voice. We're so fortunate as a field to have these just vocal athletes willing to pitch in and, and speak for the people who have lost their voice with sometimes very, very serious diseases. Bringing you the best of California, I'm Audra Stafford for California Life.